Breaking at four at this hour, an Atlanta rush hour nightmare is in full effect. You absolutely need to avoid a major heavily traveled area of I-285. All lanes now shut down. This is pretty bad. Take a look at this video from Chopper 46 showing I-285 westbound at Ashford Dunwoody Road after that fiery crash. Look at the backup there. Mm. That fire is now out, but the aftermath you can see it's caused quite a mess. An absolute mess. We've got all the information you need. Sandy Springs Fire Chief says the Ashford Dunwoody Bridge has been compromised due to the crash and fire started after a crash involving a tractor trailer and two other cars. Here's the good news in all of this. So far, no one um, has been reported injured, but we do want to emphasize you have to avoid that area of town if you possibly can. To be honest, there's not too many other ways to get in that area. Traffic is severely backed up. Let's check in with First Alert meteorologist Fred Campagna uh, to break down how to get around this mess because this is a highly traveled area, Fred. With, without a doubt, and it's going to be very difficult to get around this mess. If you are normally traveling on the top end of the perimeter, you're going to have to take a pretty long detour. Here's another view of it. This is from the King King Queen building he, buildings uh, looking at Ashford Dunwoody Bridge right there. So the bridge itself is closed. And and all four lanes of uh, I-285 in each direction are closed. There is no ETA on when they will be reopening. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, of cars now in this backup that extends for miles and miles. Because, as you can see, this is Ashford Dunwoody uh, Road right here. So the bridge is right here and the backup extending. Let's widen the view out here. Where you see the red, that's where traffic is not moving. This now stretches all the way back to Spaghetti Junction for people heading westbound. And as you can see, it's it extends a good distance as well for anyone who's heading eastbound. So how can you get around this mess? Unfortunately, if you're normally going along the top end of the perimeter in either direction, you're going to have to come south down 85 and then either go up Georgia 400. If you are normally heading up Georgia 400 uh, from the top end of the perimeter, or you're going to have to go all the way down to 75 and then head up into Cobb County. And likewise, if you're going in the other direction, again, do not get on I-285 either eastbound because both lanes are uh, both uh, directions are completely closed all four lanes so you'll want to come down 75 and then up 85 so this area is also likely to get very very heavy as far as traffic is concerned because we are just now getting into the rush hour Thanks, Fred. A lot of navigation to be done here this afternoon. Check out pictures sent in from a viewer. They show a raging fire burning underneath the bridge. You can also see all that thick black smoke shooting into the sky. CBS 46 has a crew headed to the scene right now to get more information on this wreck and when all lanes will reopen. In the meantime, we're